Welcome back to Project Dolvile. In this video, now we've done that bit, um, I'm going to do a bit of wrapping of the fur today. I can show you how I do that. I can't think as to why. No. Anyway, um, all the other bikes done. It's just all everywhere at the minute in the garage. So I'm going to do the last pannier box and just show you how it's done. Just in case you want to do it yourself. <laughs> Watch this face. Or actually, this one. Things you need. Tape. Different tape. Stuff. Rags. So that's all wiped down with um, degreasery stuff, just to get the tape to stick really. It's a bit dusty in here, but the tape is so sticky, it's going to stick to anything anyway. So I'm using uh, carpet tape, hashtag not sponsored. And it's just a case of going around everywhere that you want to keep sticky. You'll need a sharp knife. And then you just keep working around paying attention to places that you need a bit of extra grip like the lever for the pannier and the lock hole that sort of thing so make sure that's all nicely tucked in a few gaps doesn't matter here and there but you want it pretty well covered because you definitely don't want it coming off down the road the outside taping done. Now we need to do the inside stuff because we fold the material around and stick it on the inside and that's what keeps it all nice and tidy. So where we've got nice big runs that's fine we can put a nice amount in. some gaps for the teeth as well because that's where the um, other stuff bites into we don't want the material getting in the way of that too much if we can help it but it works Okay, that's probably it. Okay, so let's get this off the bench. Let's bring back our <laughs> nice colour in it. Let's bring back the cloth. We're just laying it out reasonably flat. It's just a rough shape at the minute. So we just want to make sure got enough to go round. Okay, plenty of left over. So we'll go around, fit everything we need. So that's pretty good. So once we're happy with the sort of general position, we can start doing the untaping. And no return, really. Okay, that's all that done. So now, without sticking ourselves to it, stick it on. 
just sort of bring it up to meet where it's going to be. Now I'm no Craig Hughes upholsterer, so there's probably a better way of doing this. But this seems to be a reasonable way. As you bring it up, you're keeping it all nice and smooth. And just sort of sticking it where it needs to be. You know what I mean. Okay. Once we've got the general gist of it right, we can come around with a really sharp knife. Not scissors. Trust me on this. Scissors cuts the fluff and it goes everywhere. So we need to be able to wrap it over a bit, so give it a bit more. Sharp knife, it says. And then just follow that around. to keep and how much to cut off is always a good uh, question. Well the answer to that is uh, just the right amount. Okay so that's done. Now Unzip the inside. Okay, so insides all undone. Now it's just a case of keeping it nice and tight up against the sides and then sticking it over. Easy, isn't it? These back ones have got some tabs on them, so I'm just going to help the installation process <laughs> by cutting holes in those. But when we try and get these back on the bike, those tabs can line up.
Okay, so this next job involves I've fully serviced and adjusted this, and um, by that I mean spraying it with BDX and then leaving it on the shelf. So that's got to go in. There's a linkage here for the for the thing that goes on there, and of course the hole for the release mechanism and for the lock have been covered up with fluff now. So we've got to make provisions for that. Great. What a ridiculous idea how these are held in. Anyway, um, watch how frustrating this gets really quite quickly. The first thing I need to do is find where I've put that. I feel like being a gynecologist. Right, that's in. Little bar goes in there. That goes in. Which way does that go? That way. That means that goes in that way. So if that goes in that way, that goes in that way. Falls down, pushes up. Okay, let's fight with this. Need all this slack. Does that pin could have somewhere to, to go, you see. Then when it's in, you can put the screw in it. Where are the screws? Well no, clip first. This clip slides down over the side of the thing and locks it in place. Well, it tries to, but now there's a load of fur in the way. Yeah, that's done. Okay, so that's that in there. Levery thing, clippy thing. Um, that little spring clip device is the worst design ever. So, let's screw the mechanism down. And then let's fit the lock in there somewhere. Smart lock, lock, thing, thing. There, done up. That's done up. Cover. So that's looking pretty tidy. We've got the lock there somewhere. Just have to find that. It's like searching for Chewbacca's bum hole. Um, we've got the old pannier release. That's in there nicely. That's all done. Now. I want this tool to be a pannier, so leaving that just material is no good. And ideally, behind there should be like a, you know, speaker. Boom, boom, boom. But we're going to turn it back into an actual working pannier, so that needs to go. So I'm just making sure now, I'm pressing the burr in around on the sticky tape, because I don't want it to move now. 
find a nice place. Any blade. Just trimming this one up to get to the correct edge. I'll show you something here ridge not this one that's where the rubber seal went but this one matches up with its corresponding number on the lid so if anything is covering that up and jamming it the lid doesn't close pretty tight tolerant stuff Okay, a bit of flappage there is fine because that's just going to mould in and overlap. Right, we need to get the lid. Hold fire. Here's one I made earlier. Done. Okay, so that is the fur wrap done on the panniers and it fitted perfectly so I've got all this space and uh, you know it's quite a funky color scheme we could do with some funk so I'm thinking let's put a speaker in here I haven't got one this big but I have got some so let's just build a speaker box to go in there. Bear with. Template, cardboard, templatey thing, something like that. Yeah? Use these little screw holes to mount it. It's got to be able to come out because I need the holes for mounting the panel to the bike. So, template, template. MDF. Let's see how we get on. McAllister. Not sponsored. Blade. What's this blade? Is it sharp? Who knows? Don't know. Is it bent? Probably. Alright, that goes up and down. Bear with. I'll just do some chopping up. together 
screws. Uh, come back in five minutes and um, we'll see. Well, that was easy.